Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered their Tesla using my referral code. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And, um, Bob Lutz, Bob Lutz, he's at it again, he's at it again. Uh, in a very, very long interview to Autoline after hours. I, I like that show, by the way. I, I watch it all the time. He was talking about everything. Everything, everything, cars, which is great. But he dedicated a nice segment to, uh, the, I mean, the questions uh, targeted uh, Tesla and Tesla Model Y. And he um, called Tesla Model Y, the upcoming Tesla Model Y, ugly. Okay? He expanded his word. But, Doug, let's watch, and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, we're back talking all things automotive with Bob Lutz. And as I promised before the break, everybody's, we got a lot of questions here about Tesla. You'd been really down on the company. What do you think about it right now? I think we're in a period of relative stability. Um, Model S or the Model 3 continue to sell well. I, I, the Model Y, I, th I think, is terminally ugly. I, I don't know who's going to buy that. It's another one of these humpback things like the Model X. It's, it's neither a sport utility nor a sedan. And to the extent it sells, I don't think it's going to break into a new segment. I think the sales will be largely substitutional to the, to the Model 3. However, they're building, they're delivering. Nobody quite knows what the profitability is right now, but the, the, the fact is um, there's still a lot of unsubstantiated hype. I, you know, I don't think they're ever going to do that sports car anytime soon. They're certainly not going to do the semis, and if they did, they'd be extremely foolish because that, that whole market isn't enough to make a difference. They've certainly uh, made prototypes. We've got pictures of them on the road. They're running around in those semis. Yeah, well, that, that's <laughs> relatively easy to do. But, but the big truck makers all have electric semis running as well. So, um, And I, I continue to believe, and this is what I keep re repeating on Nalsium, when it comes to electrification technology, batteries, etc., Tesla is in exactly the same place as everybody else. They use lithium ion, and lithium ion has a certain energy content per kilowatt hour, and everybody else has the same one. So there's no, the only reason why Tesla had more range was because they had a bigger battery. And I, I honestly believe that while you could argue that um, a Tesla, and again, thanks to very clever marketing and PR, a Tesla has more image value than an equivalent electric Chevrolet or an equivalent uh, electric Buick. But when they're up against a fully, a 300 mile fully electric Porsche four door, now it becomes a different story. Now, I really, I tell you the truth, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, you can say, you know what, let's just not listen. This is the same stuff, same junk that's coming out of his mouth and other people's mouth. I think, like, besides calling uh, Mal Y ugly, I think that he's, when he keeps saying it, he keeps reading it for years now, that Tesla has no advantage on anybody else. Are you kidding me? Tesla has no advantage on everybody else? Uh, Tesla has no advantage on technology, on software upgrade, on battery production? It's, hey, it's lithium. Everybody can do that. They, were, they managed to bring the cost of batteries so significantly, and they will continue to do that that I, I'm not sure, you guys have to help me, I try to figure out what is his motive. This is a guy, the father of Chevy Volt, which I own, by the way, uh, the father of Chevy Volt that is not even produced anymore. That car, it's happened to be a very, it's a great bridge car. Once I, once I sell it or trade it, I'm not trading it for another Chevy Volt. I'm trading it for a pure electric uh, Tesla of some sort. But for the time where it came, his, his, his vision was the plug-in hybrid. You know, you drive most of your time uh, in uh, an, an EV and then gasoline went for long ride. And Tesla came and completely debunked that theory and proved that pure EV driving 
is absolutely possible, more enjoyable and better. Uh, and, and I don't say these motives. What is the motive? Hate? Jealousy? Envy? I don't know what that is. Maybe you guys can help me out. But listening to this guy talk, you like... I know somebody... I, it's not my comment because I do not like to insult uh, older people. You know, I have a respect your elders value. But somebody called them. I didn't, I didn't know that dinosaurs still, still exist. <laughs> it's funny. It's not nice, but it's funny. Um, anyway, so you let me know what you think because I am trying to figure the motive. I, I understand what he says, but why is he saying that? What, what is the purpose of it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. See you tomorrow.